Hello lovelies. I haven't made a video in like two or three months and I apologize for that. Um, I was having some trouble with my glam bags not being delivered and I didn't get one for like three months and we finally got it all straightened out and now I have like four new glam bags that I need to go over with you guys and I also have some new uh, e.l.f. products and stuff that I want to try to squeeze into this video if I can so I guess we'll just jump right in and see how much I can get done <laughs> alright so this is my November glam bag and it was like all about glitter which I love glitter alright and for that one I got a sample, I guess, of Temtu SB Highlighter in Pink Pearl. And I use, I've used this a couple times. Um, I've never really used a highlighter like this before, so I'm not really sure how to use it. I just kind of use it on the inner corners of my eyes sometimes. And I also got Be a Bombshell. Um, I base in the color Submissive, and I really like this. You can use it like by itself, or I like to use it like as a base and to put a similar shadow on top of it. That works out pretty good. It's really creamy and I like it. I guess I'll swatch my highlighter for you. lid. And I also got J Cat's Wonder Lip Paint. Um, I don't see a name or a color, but I really, really love the color. It's gorgeous. It's a nice dark red. And, um, I would kind of say it's kind of a lip stain because it's not like really thick full coverage kind of thing with product it's kind of a stain in my opinion but I really like it and it smells really good and I also got Elizabeth Mott's You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and I guess the color is Glitterati but it's a black liquid liner and it's got some silver specks of glitter in there. And I really like that. I like the tiny little brush. And then I also got Mark Anthony's Oil of Morocco Argan Oil. Um, sulfate free volume shine hairspray extra hole fast drawing infused with keratin and I think I've only really used this once um, it smells pretty good though I still have like a huge bottle of my other hairspray that I'm trying to use before I use this alright so that was my November glam bag all my sparkly shiny goodies and this is my December glam bag and it was kind of exciting since um, I didn't get a glam bag for a couple months and then like I got like those two at once and then shortly after I got my January glam bag so I was like glam bag overload so excited Okay. For December I got NYX Butter Lip Balm in Parfait. And I love this stuff. I love the color too. It's so creamy and moisturizing. And I got a new eyelash curler. 
Oh, I was so excited for that because I need a new one because um, my other one is forever old. I've had it since high school, which really wasn't that, that long ago, but you know. And then I also got Pixies Fairy Dust, like Loose Pigment Eyeshadow, and Brightening Bear. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. It's like a beautiful, shimmery, natural color. It's gorgeous. I love Pixie products. I just love them. And I got a new mascara, which I've been obsessed with lately. It's Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, I do still have my Perversion sample. And I still use this, but then I put this over top of it, and it makes them, like, really long. I love the brush on this. Like I said, it makes my lashes really long, and, um helps helps separate them get rid of any clumps or anything like that sorry my nose is running all right and then in that one i also got bcw or beauty beauty without cruelties um premium aromatherapy facial cleanser it says it benefits normal to oily skin, and I have pretty oily skin. But, um, it's 100% vegan, paraben-free, soap-free, no synthetic fragrance, and pH balanced. Um, I used this for a couple weeks, and I didn't really notice anything at first, but then after a while it started making my skin break out really, really bad. So I stopped using it and went back to my normal face wash. Um, I don't know if it's the fact that it's soap free. I've used um, like paraben free, like natural stuff before and it's never done anything like that. So I don't know. I'm not going to use the rest of it. I'll just probably throw it away, which I feel bad if I just throw it away. I don't know. Maybe I'll find someone to give it to. Um, okay. <clears throat> and my January Ipsy bag. Um, I didn't get everything that I was supposed to get in this one since this was one of the ones that got, like, lost in the mail, so they had to send me a replacement. I was supposed to get, um, an eyeshadow brush which I ended up not being able being able to get. Mm. Um, and then what else? There was something else I was supposed to get, but they had to replace it. Um, I think it was another eyeliner. But anyway, okay. I got this Pro Bell nail lacquer, and it's called Into the Blue, and I love this color. It's so but, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to have my nails painted at work, which sucks. But oh well. And then I also got Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream with Avocado and Argan Oils. And I've used this a couple times. I probably need to start using it again because my eyes are starting to get... Or my skin is starting to get really dry around my eyes again. It's very uncomfortable. <clears throat> And I also got Eco Beauty Good Day Day Moisturizer. And this stuff is really, really good. I still have like half of it left. I'm afraid to like use the rest of it, so I'm trying to save it. But um, it smells like cucumbers, and I love it. And it's really, really moisturizing, and it's not like oily or greasy or anything, which is amazing. And then I also got a new Pacifica eyeshadow in Ever Real, and this, the box said it was a coconut eyeshadow, so I'm guessing that it's made with coconut, because it doesn't really smell like it, 
But it's another pretty color. Another really pretty natural shimmery kind of color. I think there was something else I got in this glam bag, but I don't know where it is. I'm gonna check my purse real fast. It was a face mask, like a facial, at home facial mask is what it was, and I already used it. Um, and it was like a kind of fold out one. It was really thin and almost like tissue paper, but it was like really, really moisturizing and it felt really, really good on my face. I didn't want to take it off. Um, don't remember what the brand was called. I have pictures of it on my Instagram. Uh, I'll have to look it up and then put it in the info section, I guess. But it was like a at-home facial kind of thing. It was really nice. Really moisturizing. Really good for my skin. <clears throat> okay, and... February. I actually got my uh, February glam bag on Valentine's Day, which was pretty awesome. Oh, and um, I also got this in my January Ipsy bag. It's Malin. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, and Goet's Mojito Lip Balm, and it smells so good. It smells really sweet, and amazing, and minty, and it's so moisturizing, and I love it. Okay. I think I lied, I think the face mask was in this one. Yeah, in my February Ipsy bag. Sorry. But I got City Color Creamy Lip Stain in Flirtini. And it says, I don't know, I wouldn't consider this a lip stain. I would consider this like a lip gloss or a lip cream. Because it's, it's pretty thick. So I would consider it more of a lip gloss than a stain. That's just my opinion. And it's a really pretty pink color. I haven't been wearing very many uh, pink colored lip products lately. I've been more into like dark reds or um, neutral kind of colors. And then today I have my purple lips on. And I'll get to that shortly. Alright, and then I also got Eva NYC Up All Night Volumizing Spray. And I haven't used this yet. Um, now that I think about it, I wish I would have used it this morning when I was doing my hair. It smells pretty good. There's that. And then I got Rob Shrebby. That's how you pronounce it. For Teeny Beauty. Powdered eyeshadow in Pearl Fizz. And I really love this color too. Lately I've been obsessed with like matte colors, but the colors I've been getting when I <clears throat> in my Ipsy bags, like the shimmery kind of neutral colors, I'm just like completely in love with them. Like they're perfect. And I also got a new blush. I'm so excited. This is by Model Co. And it's Peach Bellini, which is kind of funny because I actually have a lipstick with that exact same name. <laughs> Um, I think I have it stored away at the moment, but I ordered it online because it was a really pretty peachy pink kind of color, which is almost like the same color as this, actually. 
but I thought it was kind of funny when I saw the name of it. I'm like, oh, hey, now I can have matching blush and lipstick. But I've been wanting a new blush for forever. I've been using on my Be A Bombshell the one stick blush in Sunset for forever. Um, and I've just been wanting to try something different. And now I have this. But... I don't really like how shimmery it is, so I'll take my, um, my Stay Matte face powder and I put it on top to kind of dull the shimmer a little bit. I just don't really like shimmery blushes very much. I don't think they look right on me. Anyway. <clears throat> so that was everything in my last four glam bags. And... I was so excited because I finally got enough um, Ipsy points saved up to get a free item. And I got this Real Techniques brush. And it's a fine liner brush. And it's absolutely perfect. I use it to do my winged eyeliner. And I love it. It's really soft and really amazing. I want to get more, uh, more of their brushes to see how amazing the rest of them are. <laughs> Alright, so that's everything from my glam bags. Now I'll go on to my new makeup items that I bought from everywhere else. Okay, so... Not too long ago, I want to say maybe a, m a month, maybe a month and a half ago, my local Walmart finally got um, e.l.f. makeup. And it's not like a little section in our makeup aisle, it's actually just a spinning display right next to it, which, it, like, there's not very much on there, but, you know, it's a start. Well, I was, like, completely obsessed when we got it, and I got, um, I got makeup brushes, and I think it was most, oh, and some, like, lip, twist-up lip crayons, and then the other day, we were in there, and they got a second display of e.l.f. makeup, and I was so excited, and it was... Because they didn't have very many of, like, the face powders or the foundations or things like that on the first one. Which kind of bummed me out because I really wanted to try some of the e.l.f. foundations. But I, I'm kind of iffy about ordering foundation online. Because I'm terrified I'm going to have, like, a horrible experience. Anyway. They had a bunch of, like, the face powders and the foundations and a ton more brushes. And I was so excited. So I got a couple of things. Um, the first thing I, I got was the High Definition Powder. And my Stay Matte Powder is translucent, but it still kind of turns my face a little bit tan. Um, but I like it because, you know, it's mattifying. But I got this because, you know, it's a white translucent powder and it comes with a little powder puff I, I don't use this I tried it, I didn't really like the whole powder puff thing just got powder everywhere but um so I don't use that but I got this and it's supposed to be you know high definition powder it's supposed to make you look flawless and like mattify everything and you know the whole nine yards and it works pretty good um it's not drying or anything it doesn't feel chalky it's actually very smooth and silky like I like to just like touch my face after I put it on because it feels so soft and amazing and I love it and I hate when like powders and foundations leave your skin feeling like heavy and thick and tacky and it, I just it makes me feel gross. And this 
It makes me feel like there's nothing on my face and I love it. And I'm definitely going to buy more of it. Alright. And then the other thing I got, since I don't use the powder poof mat and I need a new one anyway, I got the e.l.f. Kabuki face brush. And my sister was going to get one of these too, but she didn't get it because she was kind of... Mm, she didn't think it was going to be very soft or be a very good brush, but it is amazing. It is so soft and so fluffy, and I love it to death. Um, this was my old Kabuki brush. It's... I got this years ago from my grandmother. She used to get me all kinds of makeup stuff. And I clean it to my the best of my ability. But you know, it's it's old and it probably needs to be thrown away. Um, I'm not sure what brand it is. It doesn't have like a name or anything on it. I don't remember where she got it from. But now I have a new one. It's amazing. And um Actually, after I got home the other night from Walmart, I was kind of bummed because they didn't have the new um, e.l.f. face kabuki brush, like the square one. I really wish they would have had that one because I want, really, really want to try that one and, you know, practice my contouring and stuff a little bit more. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I got that. And then I also got their Flawless Finish Foundation in Porcelain. And I wasn't sure which color to get because I've never used an e.l.f. foundation. Um, not one of their liquid ones. I have the cream one that's in the compact. But I got that one in... I think the lightest shade that they offered. And it's a little too light for me. Uh, so I don't use it. Except for like, you know, costume makeup, I guess. It works well for that. But I got this in porcelain. And this was the lightest one they had and I was kind of iffy about that. But I did I would rather get one that's too light and I can darken it up with powder than get one that's too dark and not be able to do anything with it and walk around with like a dark face. So I got that. And it comes in a pump. And it's a really nice color, like it works perfectly for my face. And it's really, really thin and light, and it's not like, it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that, which I absolutely love. Like I said, I hate when um, you get makeup and it just feels thick and heavy and like you've got layers and layers and layers of makeup on your face. But, like, it's really light, and then when I, I put the HD powder on top of it, and it just makes it feel like there's nothing on my skin. And I just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I was also kind of sad that, that they didn't have, like, the, um, I, f I forget exactly what it's called, but I call it the Acne Fighting Foundation that Health has. Because I want to try that one, too, but I don't want to order it online because again what if I get the wrong shade and all of that stuff it's like I'm paranoid about it <laughs> okay moving on and then I was on Instagram the other day you know just looking up makeup pictures and all that fun stuff and I came across this page and it's like for Yazzy Cosmetics I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that um I've never heard of it before that night. And then they had a link to their store, so, you know, I clicked on it and looked at their stuff. And they have some really, really, really gorgeous lipsticks and lips. They call them lip paints. Um, and, like, purples and blues and... Oh, they're just gorgeous. But a lot of them were sold out. Like, the ones that I really wanted were sold out. And they're pretty cheap, too. They're... Um, a lot of them were on sale for like $8, and then some of them were on sale for like $10, and I think some of the regular price ones were only like $15, which I think is a pretty good price, you know? And I've never had like 
fun colored lipsticks or lip glosses like that before. I usually just like kind of make my own, I guess. I'll put a primer on and make my lips, I guess, basically white. And then I'll use like eyeshadows and stuff. But that kind of like dries out my lips and it feels really cakey and I don't know. I feel like it cracks and just kind of falls off. But, um, so anyway, I found this, like this really perfect, gorgeous, lavender, lilac, whatever you want to call it, purple shade of lip gloss, and I was like in love with it. It's perfect, and it's called Snob, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny, but it arrived the other day, and I was so excited, and it smells like peppermint. And it's like so amazing. It's like creamy and it's got great pigment. And like I've had this on since 10 this morning and I've eaten like two bowls of cereal and you know. I've eaten and drank with it on and it like hasn't budged at all and it's I like, it's, I don't know, I'm just in love with it. It's a perfect color, and it's like a matte color, but it's not really, really dry or anything. It's moist and creamy, but it dries kind of matte, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I feel like I'm just rambling. <sighs> yeah, so, this is like my new lip gloss obsession, and I'm probably going to buy a ton more of their stuff. They have this really, really pretty, um, blue lipstick, and it wasn't a dark blue, it was like a, a bright blue, but I don't want to say electric blue or anything like that, but it was called, the color was called Skydive, and I wanted to get that one so, so bad, but, you know, I've never tried their products before, and I didn't want to get two of them and end up hating their stuff, you know, so I just got this one, and I love it, I love it, it's amazing. Okay, so I feel like I've just like rambled on aimlessly for like the last, I don't know how long. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like I crammed a lot into that video. I've been meaning to do this for forever and finally had the time to do it today and I was like, you know what, I gotta do this. Gotta be motivated. So, oh, oh, one other thing, um, that I got from e.l.f. This wasn't from my Walmart. This was from a super Walmart, uh, I think in Columbus. So that's, like, two hours away from where I live. But my parents and I, we were up there, um... A month or so ago, I think it was a month ago, for job interviews and stuff, um, and we stopped at Walmart, and their super Walmart is, like, huge, it's, oh, it's amazing, and I found this in the Christmas section on sale for, like, I want to say four or five dollars, and I was so excited, because I, wa I wanted a big palette like this for, like, forever, and it's perfect. And this, this is Elf, if I didn't already say that. Um. But it's so perfect. It's got, like, neutral colors, and bright colors, and matte colors, and shimmery colors, and colors that are, like, loaded with glitter. And I love it. It's perfect. And I want to get another one. <laughs> but, yeah. And I, I'm a little weird and kind of OCD, so I went through and I numbered all my all the colors since they don't have names so I numbered one through a hundred so that way if I ever use this in a video I can just be like okay I'm gonna use my number 54 color which is this golden orange right there so yeah I think I'm all caught up now um I guess that's it 
I don't have anything else to to show you guys or talk to you guys about. So I guess I will go now. I will stop bothering you guys. And I will see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.